Moisture heat sterilization. Now what this does is breaks the hydrogen bonds and denatures proteins. Now the types of heating methods are boiling and autoclave, starting with boiling. You can kill pathogens and some, almost all viruses. Almost all pathogens. You can kill fungi, you can also kill bacterial endospores by boiling, but they have to be in the water longer. So put longer. Next we have autoclaving. Pressure and temperature is needed. So with pressure, you need a high pressure and high temperature. To sterilize things and what do they sterilize? Autoclave sterilize culture, media, instruments, and dressings. So we have autoclave. and boiling. Welcome to the study time portion of this video. This is the physical method, the control of microbial growth. So first we're gonna look at moist heat sterilization. So how are you gonna remember the two points that go with moist heat sterilization? Well, we're gonna start with H. H bonds. Heat sterilization, moist heat sterilization breaks the hydrogen bonds. So we're going to put break. Um, let's put it here. Okay, we have moist heat sterilization. We're using the H in heat. H bonds, hydrogen bonds. Hydrogen bonds are broken in moist heat sterilization. So we have our H and the broken and our bonds. So that's how you can remember the first point in moist heat sterilization. The second point, we're going to use the E for denature. So we have denature. And moist heat sterilization, you, the heat denatures proteins. Here I have two examples of moist heat sterilization. 
Here I have boiling and I have autoclave. We're going to start with boiling first. So with boiling, fungi can be killed. Bacteria can be killed, but with endospores, they need to be left a little bit longer. Almost all viruses can be killed. And pathogens, harmful bacteria. Now with autoclave, we have pressure involved. And we also have temperature involved. So I'll just put temp for short. Now with pressure, of course you want high pressure. And for the temperature, high temperature. Now things that can be sterilized using autoclaves, three points, I have culture, media, instruments, and dressings. And this is moist heat sterilization, or two examples. Let's put boiling, B for boiling, and A for autoclave. So welcome to the test your knowledge section of this video, moist heat sterilization. So do you know? Well, take out your worksheet that looks similar to this. And if you don't have this worksheet, well, you need to be a part of my newsletter. I send these out so it will be available for you. So let's get started and test your knowledge. So what I want you to do is first tell me the two points of moist heat sterilization. And I want you to fill in the blank for boiling water. We have one, two, three, four blanks. With autoclave, I want you to tell me the pressure. If it's high pressure or low pressure, the temperature. If it's high temperature or a low temperature. And the three points for autoclaves.